Hello guys, this is JNM with a new Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial on how to add and implement a walk cycle for the player. So this is where we stopped the last time we had this pirate with an idle animation that is played when starting the game. This is quite nice, we were also able to flip the sprite and move it horizontally, but what we need is a walk cycle to make it look more interesting. So let's import this. I created a walk cycle with Spriter. So let's create a new sprite, press import and add the image sequence. You can press this play button to preview it and I have to admit that this is not my masterpiece for a walk cycle, but I think for this demonstration it will do. I set the speed of the animation to 32. This looks quite realistic. Okay, now I will rename this to SPR underscore pirate walk. Then I will set the pivot point to the center. Don't forget this, that's important. And then we can go ahead and add this to the script. So double click the player and the script will be opened. Make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it better. And what I currently do here when the player is moving is flipping the sprite. Okay, we keep this, but if we are moving, we have to change the sprite sheet. And this can be done by setting the sprite index to SPR underscore pirate underscore walk. So this is the part for the walk animation. And in the else case, when the player isn't moving, we set the sprite index to the idle animation. Okay guys, this would already work, but before I test this, I want to add some extra logic for walking faster when the shift key is pressed. Again, I use the keyboard check method to store if the shift key is pressed, and I use this now to set a speed multiplier variable to a value of 2 or 1. I don't use here an if statement to set the variable, I use a notation with a question mark and a colon. This means if the key is pressed, the value of speed multiplier is 2 and otherwise it is 1. And then I use this variable, the speed multiplier, to multiply my current horizontal movement. The result will be that the player is moving faster when the multiplier is set to 2. Okay. The last thing that I have to set is the image speed. This is the speed of the current animation. I can just set it to the speed multiplier because the image speed is nothing else than a multiplication of the original speed, which is one. Okay, awesome, so let's test this. So let's press the right arrow and he's walking. Then I press shift and he's walking faster. Okay, looks a bit awkward, <laughs> but it works. And what's really great is that we can just go back to the script and change one value for the speed and the movement and the animation speed is adjusted as well. <laughs> this looks this looks a bit crazy. And I have a bug here because the idle animation should always be at a speed of 1. But the fix is easy, you just have to set the image speed in the else case when the player isn't moving back to 0. And I will turn the fast mode to a speed of, let's try, 3. Ok guys, that works really nice. The next animations will be jumping and attack. And I will also bring this to the Godot engine. I really hope you liked this tutorial and you learned something and if you like this channel then don't forget to subscribe to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And it would be great if you support me on my Patreon to help me keeping the quality and quantity of my videos. Thanks for watching this and see you soon.